Very good morning dear students. Welcome to our 12th lesson electricity and circuits. In this lesson we are learning about the electric current flows through an electric circuit. So when you will feel hot the first thing you do is to switch on the fan or you want to have the hot cup of coffee you put the switch of hot plate on. So why do you need to press the electric switch on to remove to revolve the fan or heating a plate objectives at the end of this lesson you will be able to describe the flow of electrons in a circuit construct an actual electric circuit draw diagrams of an electric circuits explain the path of an electric circuit this an electric cell or a dry cell with positive and negative terminals which is the source of electricity for a bulb to glow. Now we see bulb inside a torch. Take out the bulb from a torch. Examine the bulb carefully. The bulb is a small globe of thin glass inside which a coiled filament is fixed on two thick wires. One of this thick wire is connected to the metal case around the base of bulb and the other wire is connected to the metal tip of the base of the bulb. The metal case and metal tip at the base are the two terminals of the bulb. Take two pieces of half meter long insulated wire. Remove its insulation with the help of a knife. Now connect these two wires to the bulb. So put a bulb on a bulb holder. Now these two terminals, these two screws act as a two terminals. Connect these uninsulated wire, wires on the two terminals and it's another side to the an electric die cell. Means that free ends of wires to the positive and the negative end. Now you will see that the bulb will glow. The electrons start flowing through the circuit. Here the circuit completes that's why the bulb is glowing. Now we will see what we had done. We simply have to connect the positive terminal of cell to any one terminal of the bulb and finally complete the circuit by connecting the negative terminal of cell to the second terminal of the bulb. The bulb then glows. The word circuit is very important here. In this lesson it will be electric circuit. In simple words we can see that it is the path along which electric current can. You can see that here a closed loop is formed. All the terminals of the electric cell and the bulb are occupied. Here the electric current is flowing along a closed path. We say that electric circuit is complete but how exactly does electricity flow through the circuit? We will try to understand this concept in this video. Okay. So let's start. Basically it is said that electricity or electric current is a flow of electrons in one direction. What really happens is that negative terminal of cell repels the electron in copper wire near it. So the electron in copper wire drift away from terminal. But in process they repel neighboring electron. Or in other words, they transfer some energy to their neighboring electrons. So, the neighboring electrons are also pushed away. They are again transferring energy to their neighboring electrons. The process continues and energy flow throughout the circuit. So, this flow of energy is nothing but the electric current. So, there are the two ways to define the electric current but most correct is electric current is the flow of electrical energy through the circuit. The electron nearly drift slightly away from their rest position and transfer energy to neighbors. This is because the wire is solid object and the density of atoms per unit volume is high. Hence, there is no space available for electron to travel all the way through. So it is this electrical energy travel through the circuit. But how does the energy flow through the bulb? The 
electron in the copper wire transfer the energy to the electron in the metal rod connected to one of terminals. This energy then flows through the rod through the filament and out from the second terminal. So in this way the energy is transferred through the bulb. But when the energy flows between the two ends of filament it heats up the filament which in turn glows and gives off light. So now you clear about how the electricity travel through a circuit. But for how long will this energy keep flowing? The energy flows as long as the circuit is connected or the cell dies out. So we learn the circuit must be complete for bulb lights up. But is this the only way to circuit be completed? If we interchange the wire then also the circuit completed and the bulb will glow. Now see this. These two wires are connected to one point only. So here the circuit will not be completed and the bulb will not glow. Because here the one terminal remains as it is. It will be not connected to other wires. The positive and negative both the terminals are attached to one terminal only of the bulb. And here the negative current directly flows towards the positive current of the electric cell or a dry cell. In this condition, bulb will not glow and may be the worst condition. The dry cell must be burst out and we will get injured. Don't connect positive and negative terminals directly. Due to that, the battery dies out fast and it will give worst effect on that cell. Hope you are understanding students. Thank you.